What's so, what's so, what's up? How we doing, beautiful people? What's good? Zando coming in hot, claiming first and getting that subby wubby. How we doing? Let me know. Hard you want to spin that sub wheel, Zando? Welcome in, Mayfly. I see sneaky pigs down there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're glad y'all are here. Welcome back. Holy moly, a whole week off. That's great. I cannot believe it. We did it. We survived. What's up, Tattoo Lover? How's it going? Tattoo Lover, I saw a lot of cool tattoos this past um, this past week. Colorado. Colorado people get it. It was a difficult time. Oh, no! I saw there was definitely a, a, a chair struggle over on the Discord of everybody investing in the spinning chair gang. I appreciate all of Level 2 for stepping up, stepping in, and taking care of the Discord for the week. That was exceptional, wonderful. It's so nice. Um, I'm very, I'm a very active, uh, engaged person, and so, uh, and I'm a pastor, and so those two things intermeshed make for someone that doesn't take time off well. Uh, but this was a time where I definitely unplugged. I really hardly looked at my phone, um, with the exception of playing like 19 hours of Vampire Survivors again. Uh, with the exception of that. 
I really was able to unplug and I didn't feel the need to check the Discord constantly or be checking our YouTube constantly. None of those things happened, so very nice. Very nice. So appreciate. So appreciate Level 2. And all of them stepping up and everybody else who contributed to the Discord during that time. Appreciate ya. Hope I can freeload off my city forever and freeload off hardworking women and robots. I don't know what that reference is to. I am also proud of hardworking women and I suppose robots. We back. Spin that wheel counterclockwise with a strength of three. You got it. You can't see it. It's too far over here. When did that change? How, how, how much further do I need to go? Mercy, mercy. That feels that feels too far. Now you can't see the now you can't see the now you can't see me holding up the balance rock. Like, I suppose that's fine. All right. Clockwise, no. Counterclockwise three. You got it. Bonus gotcha pawn. You get a double gotcha pawn. Please no beans. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bring back. Join the anti-work movement and freeloading off people and robots is what I would do best in 2040. I see. Fascinating. I'm not sure I could ever not work. I mean, even whenever I'm like not working, I'm I'm still, I'm a busybody. I'm a busybody. I can't help myself. Wearing your checkpoint shirt. Thank you, thank you, Zando. Celebrate the return, the grand return of Checkpoint Church. Twitch.tv slash Checkpoint Church. All right, let's see. We got two gotchapons. Yeah, two gotchapons. And a movie, movie game. I got to get back into the swing of things. I did. I would love to say that I just got lots of sleep. However, I did not get lots of sleep. Um, it turns out that I'm allergic to Colorado. I very much enjoyed Colorado, but I am definitely allergic to it. I was pretty much I was pretty much gunked up the entire time. So ironically, I thought that getting in the mountain air would mean that I would be breathing clearer, but I'm breathing much clearer now that I'm back home. I thought for sure that I would come back to North Carolina with all of our pollen and that I would be way more congested. Nope. Breathing clearer than I ever have. Oh, good for you, Zando. Good for you. Good for you. Right or left. And we're gonna lose the glasses for the first five minutes of Pokemon today. Don't let me forget. Let's get it over with. Right, of course. Right, of course. Of course, of course. Why wouldn't it? I don't remember which bean this is. It's the tutti fruity one, which I kind of think might mean Band-Aid. I can't remember. Cheers. Yeah. No, that was tutti fruity. <laughs> that was... I can't tell if that's bad or good. I definitely don't want it. What? What just happened? Was that? I gotta. I gotta find. Birthday cake. Not tutti frutti. Birthday cake. That explain. I was. I was prepared for either tutti frutti or a not good one. And it definitely wasn't Tutti Fruity, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I don't really like birthday cake flavored things. I don't know if you're a birthday cake flavored person. I am not. So, uh, not my best reaction. Apologies for that, but I'm also glad that it wasn't gross. Can't work because I would want to freeload off someone's house and get a basic income, free food stamps forever, plus free internet uh, for laptop and phone. I mean, I am a, I'm definitely an avid supporter of uh, getting all the support that we need and supporting each other in all the ways that we can. Um, 
And I do, I do love internet. I think internet should be, at the very least, like power company. Um, you know, depending on depending on all your takes with capitalism and all that fun stuff. I do think it should be a thing that is downright provided. And I guess there are certainly places it can provide it as long as you have an address, right? Which is another political take that we won't get into. Um, with that, Zando, here is your movie movie game. This is again for Zando, so let Zando answer first. The master of dreams goes toe to toe with the unstoppable summer camp killer. On a conservative farm overrun by the liberal antics of a quirky college boy who's dating the farmer's daughter. I've never seen the second movie. How did you know it so quickly? Let's see. Is it Polly Shore? Is it a Polly Shore movie? I've definitely only ever seen like one or two Polly Shore movies. But that explains it. But I did see the hint was Biodome. And I was like, yeah, I gotta be at some connection there. So we gotta get our Jeopardy questions. I, I'd honestly forgotten about Jeopardy. I need to re-log into Twitter, I guess. On that Elliometric thing behind me. Holy moly, we got triple double Jeopardy. Which is just an all around fun thing to say. You've never seen Biodome? I mean, that's, that's all right. <laughs> Normally I give you a real hard time, Zando, about things that you haven't seen. And I'm like, oh man, you gotta see. Like, no, nah, you don't, you don't gotta see Biodome. You don't gotta see it. You, sh you, you could see it, I suppose. I'm not even willing to say you should. You are, you are capable of seeing it. Now we're gonna take down the music a little bit. Although it doesn't look too loud if I'm being totally honest. Wonder if Spoofy's been turned down manually. Got my three Jeopardy questions pulled up here. Once we go through the ads, we will get started with Jeopardy. I'm glad to be back. We've got a big week. We've got a huge week, actually. We got tons of stuff going on today and tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. And um, once we go through all of this week, one of the big things that's going to be happening soon is a very likely stream schedules change. So we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Talk more about that in just a moment. Oh, man. I didn't do my hair today. Honestly, I, I'm kind of considering being done with doing my hair. And so, uh, and so my, hair is, my hair is very floofy. Got very floofy hair today. Floofy like spoofy. All right, let's get into it. Here are our Jeopardy questions for today. For those of you that have never done Jeopardy with us, it is, uh, we do not follow any of the rules of Jeopardy hardly, except for being the correct person to answer the question, and they are Jeopardy prompts. Uh, I will give you a category. I will tell you how much it's worth in points. Uh, then I will read the answer, and then you will give the answer to that answer. You do not have to answer in the form of a question. It's just too much to keep up with. So you don't have to answer in the form of a question, you just have to answer what you think the answer is. It is free game for anyone. Uh, first come, first serve, claim it if you can, good for you. If not, then it will go to whoever does answer fastest. So our first Jeopardy prompt is worth 800 points. 800 points, the category is glass works. I don't know why it's in quotes, but it is. So glass works, the answer. Roger Bacon is thought to have designed this type of single convex lens used to produce an enlarged image. Roger Bacon is thought to have designed this type of single convex lens used to produce an enlarged image. It is indeed magnifying glass, Zando. Congratulations. All right, Zando claiming the first one. Second Jeopardy prompt is worth our maximum amount of 2,000 points, 2,000 points. Category remains the same, glassworks. The answer, a symbol in computing to indicate something is busy or an old time device using sand to measure time. Easy peasy, hourglass indeed. Congratulations. And our final Jeopardy prompt. 
Uh, also worth the maximum amount of 2,000 points. Category remains the same. Glass works. First person to claim it wins the answer. An unofficial barrier to advancement for women and minorities. An unofficial barrier to advancement for women and minorities. It is indeed glass ceiling sneaky, claiming the third one just in the nick of time. That was a close one. We almost had a Zando sweep. Almost. We were close to it. All right. With that, our leaderboard is as follows. Let me find who's in third. Okay, third place remind, uh, remains Wizened Lemur with 9,800 points. Second place with 21,000 points is Zando. And in first place is Sneaky Pigs with 36,200 points. Yes, I probably would have accepted that. I knew what you meant. An extra L is, a, is an honest mistake. An honest mistake. Folks, our plan for today, as mentioned, is going to be just just chatting for this first hour. Whatever we want to talk about, talk about Colorado, talk about the wonderful things that happen. I'm going to go through the full events of the week for those of you that care to know. I'll also answer any questions or anything, anything like that if you have like further questions or anything along those lines. Um, and then we're going to make some stuff for this Friday. For those of you that do not know, we are having our, gosh, what are we on? What are we on now? We'll find out whenever we design it on Canva. Um, but our <laughs> checkathon, the seventh, seventh ever checkathon. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say seventh, but I'm willing to be wrong. Um, the seventh checkathon will be happening this Friday, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, from 4 p.m. until midnight Eastern time. We'll be raising monies for the Crossfire Faith and Gaming um, Nerd Ministry Camp. Uh, we're very excited to be doing that, sponsoring campers so that kids can have a place to belong in their gaming uh, habits and gaming culture, their nerd culture. They can feel like they belong to a community. That's something we vehemently support. And so I love it. I love to hear about it and I want to support it. And so we're going to support it in that way um, during that time. There you go. So that's the, that's the long and short of what we're going to be doing today during this first hour is I got to design all the stuff. Um, we've got to get everything together. I've got to figure out a schedule. I've got a lot to do. And so uh, it's a matter of, a matter of ha making everything happen. And uh, at the very least, we need to make our design, which is generally pretty simple. But we got to announce it. We got to talk about it. We're going to do all that fun stuff. Um, again, as I mentioned, our stream schedule is very likely to change. I'm still working through the fine details, but I am pretty sure we are going to be adding maybe two streams and taking away a stream. And that's tough, but that's the reality. So that's probably what we're dealing with, trying to figure out exactly how it's going to work and in what way it's going to work. But um, that's going to be coming up this week as well. Big announcement about that. I also have tons of videos I need to be working on. I'm writing a new blog. Um, I just got, I got, I got a lot, I got a lot and I'm coming off a fresh week of nothing. So let's talk about that fresh week and go through all the fun things that we did. Sunday, uh, Logan and I, uh, that's my wife, Logan and I arrived in Colorado. We flew in, um, pretty early in the morning. So we were able to land in the afternoon. We were able to thank goodness, um, our, our hotel was willing to let us in a little early. So we were able to get in a little bit early and get our stuff dropped off so that we could go to a really good lunch. We went to a place called Levin, uh, Levin Bakery in Denver, Colorado. Exceptional, exceptional um, sandwich from that. I had a Reuben and it was the bomb. They're um, the, coolest stuff place, the coolest stuff in that place were all their sides. They had a bunch of very different tasting sides. Something about Denver. I don't know if this is, um, if any of you are from Colorado or if you know Denver well. Um, something about Denver and Mediterranean food. Um, here in the here in the big city of Charlotte, we do have a lot of a lot of options and some Mediterranean options, but definitely not as prevalent as it was in Denver. It felt like even places that did not describe themselves as Mediterranean had Mediterranean food. So that was something interesting. Um, we ate that on Sunday. What did we have for dinner that night? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. 
We ate so much food. We ate so much good food. We scootered everywhere. I did the lime scooter stuff. We were actually staying in downtown Denver, which was really nice. And so we pretty much scootered everywhere we could. I discovered there is a place called King Supers. I don't know if any of you have King Supers um, near you, but there you go. That's more information uh, that I did not realize was like the grocery store in Colorado. So we went to a lot of King Supers. S-O-O-P-E-R. Interesting. What's up, Perry? Welcome in. I'm just telling people about the Colorado trip and all the things that we did. Um, so let's see. Sunday we arrived. Don't remember what we had for dinner for whatever reason. Monday... What are we doing Monday? Monday, we met up with uh, with some of Logan's childhood friends. It's the craziest thing. So, you know, we live in the Charlotte area. We've grown up in this area. And Logan had a friend that she knew all throughout elementary school. And then in fifth grade, Logan actually moved from one part of the state to another part of the state. And so their friendship just kind of dissolved, as one does. And they haven't spoken since they were 10 years old, um, but they keep up with each other on Facebook. And um, we learned that she had recently moved, or not recently, but I mean, you know, in the past five years, had moved to Denver. And so Logan was like, hey, shot in the dark, do you wanna meet up for dinner? And she was like, yes. So we met up with her and her fiance and had dinner at a place called Los Chingones. It was the bomb, so good. And um, we just had such a good time. We wound up sitting there for the entirety of our parking time, um, which rarely, you know, you, normally they give you more parking time that you need in downtown. And so we sat there for the entire uh, parking time. We had great conversations. We hung out the entire time. And um, then actually wound up getting dinner with them again on Friday. So the, the, they had not spoken in, you know, since they were 10 years old, so well over a decade. Um, and then wound up just immediately clicking and having such a good time. And uh, that was so sweet, so fun to see. Tuesday, the conference actually started that I was going to. I was at the National Developers and Planters Conference of the United Methodist Church. And uh, on Tuesday, I uh, got to see Stained Glass. So Stained Glass is gonna be a church planter, is actually planting a church starting this summer and into the next coming years of his ministry. He's made that announcement here before, so I'm not spoiling the news here. But he is gonna be planting, and that is an exciting thing for him. And so I knew that he was coming, and Tuesday we were not being provided or like a real lunch. It was like a box lunch that you could come and get, I guess. And so I was like, well, I don't want a box lunch. Like I drove to Denver, I'm gonna eat some good food. And so we went to a place around there that's really popular called the Lazy Dog in uh, in Denver. It was actually in Highlands Ranch is where we were, but regardless. Um, so we went there for lunch, met up with Laura Whitman. For those of you that have been, that are OGs here at Checkpoint, uh, the Whitman Revs, Laura and Nathan um, were with us at the very, very beginning of things. Um, they were planting around the same, or Laura was planting around the same time Checkpoint got planted. So we got lunch with them. Uh, and then with Gail and Meg, which uh, were two planters that came with Laura, not digital planters, but planters nonetheless. So we had a big lunch. Then we went to the conference. We got to hear from Renita Weems, Reverend Dr. Renita Weems, uh, about all of the wonderful um, encouragement of the Old Testament, which was an ironic thing to hear encouragement from, but nice nonetheless to hear a little bit of hope from. Uh, and then I went to a workshop. There were four different tracks of workshops at this conference, um, one of which, the one that I was a part of, was digital ministry. So I actually presented a workshop on Wednesday. But on Tuesday, Luke Edwards of the Listening Church, one of my good friends and uh, our, our one of our developers here in the West North Carolina Conference, um, he presented a kind of crash course on fresh expressions in the digital world. Um, it was great, wonderful to hear from him and wonderful to hear what he had to say in that vein of things. And then immediately following that, uh, Checkpoint actually does did what Checkpoint does best, which is any of these conferences that I go to, um, and I would encourage you to do this if you go into any ministry, ministry conferences as well and let me know and Checkpoint will cover um, at least the gaming fee. Um, something that we've started doing is whenever we go to a gaming conference, I find, or uh, not a gaming conference, excuse me. Whenever I go as a ministry leader to a conference of any type, I host a gaming session at a local tabletop gaming space. Almost always, if it's in a city, they have at least one board game cafe. So went to a board game cafe in Denver, um, this time called Gamer Train. No, Game Train. Game Train was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, it was so rad. So nor it was like a bar. Normally you go into like the bar, the, bar, the board game cafe bar scene, and it's like typically they got nice tables. Maybe they'll have booths. More often than not, you'll walk in, it'll be like a food and bar, and then the back will be like a big warehouse with a bunch of tables. Not this place. This place took their name seriously. 
And so they were game trained. And what they did was they had two rooms in the back that were like warehouse spaces, but they had gutted them and renovated them to look like a train. Um, they have like the wood planks on the bottom. They had big giant curtains with TVs behind them. And the TVs were meant to look like window frames. Uh, and then your chairs looked like game, like not game, they looked like tables and chairs that you would see on one of the uh, train cars. And they would have like countryside, you could choose from four different options on the TV of things passing you by. They had a low hum going on, so you kind of felt like it was a train. And then the coolest part was under the, under the floorboards, they had subwoofers like right up on the wood and with that low hum they were playing in the background, you could actually feel the like, like you could feel that under your feet um, as you were riding the train. It was super cute. I loved it. I mean, the fact that they just took all this initiative, they did what they could um, to make it so fun, amazing, incredible, so worth it. A wonderful, wonderful use of time. What I normally do is we we go out and Checkpoint covers the game fees. Normally they have like a game rental fee. You can get as many games as you want to, um, but you have to pay the fee for however long you're there. So Checkpoint covered that. And uh, we had a wonderful amount of time just hanging out with a bunch of planners and developers, um, eating good junky food and playing games. I taught them how to play um, Splendor. I taught them how to play uh, Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. I taught them how to play um, what else did we play? Quicks. And uh, we also learned how to play that, um, what is it called? The mind reading game. I can't remember the name of the game, but it's like, it's like a, there's like a circle and you, one team spins to find out where the like range is. And the other person has to give them wavelength. That's what it's called. Wavelength. Look up wavelength. Um, and it's a mind reading game. That was very fun. We had a great time playing that one. Um, it was also super cool. We went there and like, we were back in our own little secluded room, but if you wanted to go out and get another drink or if you wanted to go out and get some food or if you wanted to go out and get a game, you had to go back out to the bar top. And so at one point, I think it was, it might've been stained. I can't remember who it was, went out there and like came back and their like eyes were huge. And was like, you guys have got to go out there and see what's going on. There was a dude probably in his thirties or forties, head to toe in cosplay. Um, he looked, it was like, it was like steampunk elf. It was like a steampunk elf something. Uh, my guess was that he was dressed up as his D&D &D character. Could have been anything. Could have just been a cool cosplay. We learned, I mean, he had the pointy ears. It was, it was an immersive cosplay. And um, go ahead, redeem a trivia, please. Uh, I will be talking about this trip for a while. So you're all good, please. Um... Full head to toe cosplay. We kept like trying to figure out who he was. Everybody kept asking and trying to learn what's this guy's deal. Somebody asked him what he is, what this character is. We don't want to disrespect anything like that. And so eventually somebody went out there and asked, he's their chef. Their chef, the person that cooks for them, cooks in head to toe cosplay. Coolest thing I've ever seen. Trivia for you, Marin. Here we go. In, come on, <laughs> this is too easy. This is the easiest trivia that I've ever seen, Marin. Uh, you might as well go ahead and tell me who you want me to donate to. In what city does SpongeBob SquarePants live? Come on, who wrote this, dude? A four-year-old could answer this question. I don't know, you never know. Maybe you've never watched this show. Of course it's Bikini Bottom. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Who would you like me to donate a dollar to? Yeah, Bikini Bottom. Seriously, the easiest question in the books, but I love it. You know, they can't they can't all be tough questions. Every now and again, you gotta get one that's, that's a, a real nice and easy one. Yes, 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 yes. Works for me. I still have it written down, so I'll just add another dollar. Yeah, give kids the world. Got it. Give kids the world. Florida is now getting two dollars. I might just start up a like a roster for you. If you plan on doing this regularly, um, then we can just start one up. And once we get to a sizable amount, then donate instead of one dollar at a time. But that's awesome. 
yes, so that was our game night on Tuesday. We had about 15 to 20 people show up and play some games with us and eat some good food. Uh, it was a great time. I always love doing that. And if you are at a conference or something and you want Checkpoint to host that kind of thing, let us know. And I will do all that I can to work that out because I think it's a good mission and a good way that we can reach people and impact people. So let me know if you find out an opportunity for that to happen. Wednesday. Wednesday was the full day worth of conferences. And let me tell you, it was a full day of conferences. I was exhausted uh, by the end of it, but we did go from one to one to one to one. Uh, and we were, we were totally swamped. This conference, including sleep and eating, was 27 hours. That is not a lot of time. 27 hours. Uh, that's insane. So we fit the Rachel Gilmore and the team at Path One fit in six keynote speakers, four tracks of five workshops. So 20 workshops, all an hour long, and six keynote speakers in 27 hours, including sleep and food. That's so much. That's so much in such a little time. So uh, all that is to say, it was a whirlwind of a time, but I think we had a lot of fun. The digital ministry track was the one that I stayed on pretty clear throughout. Um, Wednesday morning, we opened with a conversation with uh, Kenda Christy Dean and Andy Root. Um, both of them are authors. Um, uh, Andy's, Andy's definitely a huge deal um, with a lot of the work that he's done. A, a really radical book that he wrote last year um, called The End of Youth Ministry. I think that was his book. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure he wrote the end of youth ministry last year, and that was one that kind of swept the ministry circles. Um, is this conference an annual thing? It is. Last year it was in Dallas, so it moves from year to year. I wasn't able to attend last year, but I, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Um, my biggest takeaway from the conference is kind of a spoiler for a blog that I'm working on. Um, but to, to sum it up neatly, it is that there is hope for digital ministry but we've got to start taking it more seriously. That's kind of the summary of the blog that I'm writing um, and the, the, the goal behind it, because I think the digital ministry is such a big deal. It really is an impressive thing, uh, and it's just not taken seriously enough. And it's got to be. It's got to be if we want to survive. If the church wants to continue going forward with specific attention, this was very much a United Methodist thing. And so if the United Methodist Church wants to continue to survive, they've just got to take it more seriously. Um, they've got to respect it better. And for some reason, they don't. And I don't know what we can do. I will continue to hold strong in every conference that I can. I will talk as often as they want me to, as loud as they want me to. I will rant and rave about Discord as long as I can. And uh, I just hope, I hope they will eventually get to the point where they take it seriously and appreciate um, the digital ministry scene for what it is. Um, so that was, that was one of my biggest takeaways. I went to all the digital ministry tracks. They were all wonderful. And um, I went to Abigail Brauka of Everyday Sanctuary, went to her track. Um, and then I went to Jason Moore of Both And Hybrid Ministry. Um, his was pretty much the same thing I've heard because um, I've, been, I've been with him from his uh, very much like brainstorming phase of Both And. So uh, very integral to the ministry that I've been doing. And then I presented a track specifically on like all right, 101, like groundwork. Um, so that was, that was like, that was it, was, it was very much a crash course in digital ministry. My goal was for anybody that attended my workshop to be able to leave from that workshop and start a church. Like that was, that was my goal is that you now have the tools that you need to know exactly what to do. It was very hands on, very much like foundational. Um, and I, 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 I jam-packed as much as I could into a 45-minute conversation. And then we had 15 minutes Q&A, which were also, um, I had to take questions going into lunch <laughs> because it was just like there were so many, so many questions, so many thoughts. And a lot of people were very curious about digital ministry. Um, and I was appreciative of the people that were curious. Whenever I say that I'm, I, I think that we don't take it seriously is we didn't really, there, there wasn't really any representation in digital ministry in the keynotes. Um, and in fact, I did, I, I managed to weasel in a question about digital ministry, uh, at the, at the main keynote of Andy Root and Kendra Creasy Dean. And, um, again, I'm spoiling my entire blog here, but, uh, Andy Root basically just expressed some skepticism on the, the nature of being in a digital space. And, um, I just thought that was a big bummer. I thought that was a big bummer. I was very disappointed. 
So I, I still have a lot of respect for Andy Root. I will continue to read his books, and I think he means really well. Um, but I, I, it, it just discouraged me to hear that after three years, uh, somebody that's on the cutting edge of the secular ministry studies is still skeptical about digital relationships. It's okay if, like, for me, it's okay if you still haven't found one. Uh, for me, it's okay if you, like, haven't experienced it for yourself. But to deny that it is an experience is just unfortunate. Um, because it's something that I literally see every day. And so I understand that some people don't get to do it. Um, it is across the board, Sneaky. I wish it were just generational, um, but I really don't think so. I think it's I think it's a it's a message being shared from the top down in the professional world. I think that's the issue. Is you literally go into any other profession, okay? Literally any other profession, you ask them about the digital market. And they're going to rant and rave about how, oh, we've got to get on it. We've got to do it. But for some reason in the ministry market, um, our leaders from the top down are all expressing skepticism and doubt. So every other market across the world, pro digital, digital digitization. Um, our market, for some reason, our leaders, our industry leaders are all skeptical. So it's a it's a big it's a big frustration of mine. Um, even somebody that I that I, I I just love and love following so much in Jason Moore. I mean, Jason Moore's book is all about how to do both and and hybrid ministry. Um, and so even one of our most reputable speakers in Jason is really only expressing a hybrid model. So that's why I continue to rant and rave is because uh, I I'm I am definitely not an industry leader. But doggone if I'm not doing the digital thing to, to the maximizational factor. And so I've got, I feel like I've got to be a, um, a figurehead and a speaker for this place, at least in the Methodist sphere. Um, I would be interested to hear from our peers here on Twitch about how they feel at conferences, um, if they feel represented well or not. We shall see. Um, because I know we have plenty of people that are in more non-denom uh, fields, and I wonder if they feel like they are being um, respected or their voices are being respected in the digital space. So I would go out on a, a ledge and say that I bet even Exponential, which is like a huge non-denom Baptist-led um, church planning thing that happens in Florida every year, I would bet even Exponential didn't take digital ministries super seriously. They might have taken it a little seriously, kind of like Carrie Newhoff. I'm, I'm really getting in the weeds with ministry stuff here, but... Uh, Carrie Newhoff, I think, is somebody that is a leading voice in non-denom um, conversations. And even Carrie doesn't take digital ministry as seriously as one ought. I feel like everybody, if, if they're going to take it seriously, they take seriously the market. Um, they take seriously the um, advertisement. Um, but nobody takes seriously the actual like digital relationship thing that's happening. So it's a bummer. It's a bummer. But it was a great conversation. They were very respectful in their answer. I don't want to demean Andy Root at all. I think he was super respectful and super forthright. And uh, everything that he said, unfortunately, was just something I already heard before. And I had hoped um, that we might have a bit more nuanced conversation. But the reality is, what are you going to do? <laughs> in an hour long, you know, smash cut conversation where we're asking as many questions as we can, it just kind of makes sense. Um, what else was there? We closed the conference with Sam Yun uh, talking about uh, hope, hope for the church. And so that's why I say my key takeaway is not that we aren't taking the digital church seriously. My key takeaway is that even despite that, there is hope. There is an entire track of digital ministry happening at events like this. And so there is hope for a better future, a better tomorrow, um, and hopefully a more comprehensive uh, understanding of the church on the way. As I say with uh, electronic music in the background, so that I'm taking extra seriously. So that was our Wednesday, uh, that was our Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, those were the conferences and all the good stuff that happened. And then everybody left um, whenever the conference was over. And so Logan and I still went out to dinner that night. And then Thursday, we were supposed to go up Pikes Peak. However, turns out, in case you didn't know this, if you want to go to Colorado and you are not a Colorado native, I have news for you. Do not go in April or May because they are deceptive months. Because you would think it's the start of spring, 
That means warm. No. No. It is warm in the sunshine, but at night and on top of the mountain, it's snowing. And so we could not get up Pike's Peak because Pike Peak, Pike's Peak was closed Thursday and Friday and Saturday because it did snow too much. So you couldn't go to the summit. So we flew all the way across the country. I brought Logan with me because I wanted to show her Pike's Peak because that's my favorite little spot and closed. Such a bummer. So disappointing. However, we did still get lots of good opportunities. We did get we, That gave us more time to explore Manitou Springs. So that was very nice. Um, got some good food and meals and, and, uh, and shopping done there. And then Friday, we wound up going to... Oh, and then we also did Meow Wolf on Thursday, which is actually where this shirt is from. For those of you that have never heard of Meow Wolf, maybe you have heard of Omega Mart. If you've never heard of Omega Mart, then I don't know how to help you. Um, there are these two like ARG immersive experiences. They're like art museums, but they're also immersive. And so I went to Meow Wolf, it was incredible. Um, it was so mind warping, so mind bending. I have some things to show you, let me go find them. This is Meow Wolf's mascot, just to give you a vibe of the weird give you the, the vibe of the weird. So this is the Meow Wolf mascot. It's a little cat in a wolf's, a wolf's cloak. Um, and yeah, instead of a wolf in sheep's clothing, it's a cat in wolf's clothing. Uh, very cute, love the third eye. So that should give you the vibe of just how weird Meow Wolf was. Um, and yes, I do have, this is their shirt. So inside of their, um, inside of the building, there are three floors of exhibits and things to see. Uh, and they are all immersive worlds. It kind of feels like you're in a video game um, because you walk in and this world has been so fully realized. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on. Um, there are people dressed up in character um, that are like willing to contribute to the conversation and, or they're not, or they're like, they're like people and they're like brushing you by and they're like, get out of my way. Like I'm on my way to work um, in the, in the false, false world. Uh, very cool immersive experience. I was very into it. This in particular was the church. Um, that was in in the Meow Wolf building, and they had a beautiful like pipe organ uh, that you could play, and uh, it was all made of glass. It was a really insane spot to see. Um, I'll I'll try and post some pictures in the near future because it's super cool. I also have a mug because of course I do. What kind of coffee loving nerd doesn't get a mug? I also got I also got a mug of the church and their little logo. If you are in Colorado or I think Arizona, I feel like Arizona is where Omega Mart is. If you're ever there and you wonder if it's worth it, if you're if you're interested in the things that Checkpoint Church is doing, odds are you would enjoy it because you're a big old weirdo just like me. And I loved it. It was all of my favorite flavors of weird. So I absolutely adored my whole experience there. And um, it was a little warm, maybe a little smelly because smelly people like weird things too, but it was a good time. Very good time, highly recommended. Um, then on Friday, what do we do? What do we do Friday? Oh yes, on Friday, we called Pikes Peak, learned that we could not go up the mountain again on Friday. So we decided to stick around Denver and we went to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Awesome, awesome museum. Uh, we, we love going to the Nature and Science Museum in Raleigh, but this one was completely different. Um, totally different things there. The coolest part, so I, I mean, I've never been to a Nature and Science Museum, a lot of exhibits. They had some real mummies, which were pretty impressive uh, to see like a legit mummified person. Um, that was pretty interesting. But then what I thought was probably they had some great dinosaur uh, stuff, fossil stuff. Um, a lot of them were recreated, right? A lot of them were, were the 75% authentic, 25% uh, plastic recreation or whatever along those lines. But then what was really cool that I'd truly never seen before is you were so close to the University of Colorado that the museum is actually a space where a lot of the college students can work and professors can work. And so there was, a, there was this whole section behind the, the fossil part of the museum that was like the size of my building that I'm in right now. And it was just people hard at work excavating fossils. I was like, this is a thing that I can watch? I can just come here and I can watch people literally, literally etching out fossils 
from ancient rock. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And so the ability to watch somebody literally make, not make, but literally find a fossil right in front of me, um, that was insane. I was so baffled by that. I was so like, that just didn't feel like something you were even allowed to witness. Like that feels like something that happens behind closed doors, but now I got to watch them um, take a big chunk of rock that they had gotten out of like the dinosaur pit or whatever in, in uh, Arizona or wherever, I don't know. Um, and they were able to just take that rock, cover it in like a weird white plaster and then just chip away the rock until they got the fossil out. Insane, insane, such a good time. So that's Friday. We also went to some really good restaurants. Linger and L5 were probably our two favorites. They're both a part of a chain in Colorado called Edible Eats. Not really a chain, more of a company. And uh, they're like a fine dining company. And uh, they were the bomb. They're tapas place. If you like tapas, then uh, you're, you're like me because I really like tapas because then you can get more food and feel like you're eating less. And then you don't, it's less guilt. It's less guilt for more food. It's the best. Uh, and so we went to Linger, which was an Asian fusion tapas place. Got some delicious bao buns. And then on Saturday, we went to L5. No. No, not Saturday. Thursday, we went to Linger. Friday, we went to L5. Saturday, we went to Italian. So L5 was on Friday. It was a mostly Mediterranean, uh, mostly Mediterranean fusion. So same thing, tapas experience. Um, they did have some Asian in there. We, for instance, we got a, a, a soup dumpling. If you've never had a soup dumpling before, it's like one of my favorite things that I can get on planet Earth. So if I get the opportunity to have a soup dumpling, I'm always gonna take the opportunity to have one. And um, it was fantastic. Both were really good meals. And then Saturday, we took the day and we went to um, Estes Park. We met up with Wizened Lemur for lunch at a fantastic um, spot called Ed's Cantina. In, um, in Estes Park, so I highly recommend that restaurant because it's super subversive. It was not a place that like jumped out at me, um, but Wizen was like, yeah, it's my favorite place to eat there. And so I was like, okay, like your favorite place to eat there? I'm absolutely gonna eat that. Um, we got it, it was fantastic, delicious tacos. And then uh, that, that afternoon we went uh, for a hike in Rocky Mountain State Park, Rocky Mountain National Park, excuse me. I keep calling it State Park, but it's a national park. Um, so we went driving around there, got to see some of the some of the spots that were open because again, there was snow. Uh, got to take a little walk around um, Sprague Lake. And then we went to mini parks and then we had to go. We went and met up with uh, the friends that I mentioned from Monday, met up with them for a second dinner this time um, at an Italian place. Then they dropped it off at the airport for our red eye. And then we flew in from our red eye uh, it was an awful flight. <laughs> it was not the worst I've ever been on. I my, the worst flight I've ever been on was a puddle jumper. Um, we took a puddle jumper up to uh, up to um, Boston from North Carolina, and I think I don't remember how many of us were on board. I think it was like a flight of like forty, uh, which if you've never been on a plane, that's that's insane. To have forty people on a plane, you might as well be driving a minivan. Like. That's absolutely wild because normally there are probably probably close to 100, maybe 150 people on a, on a flight. And uh, to see 40 on a flight, including crew, it's pretty weird. Um, and that was the worst flight ever because it was raining on a puddle jumper. Um, and I thought that that was going to be the last day that I would be alive, but it wasn't. It was, uh, it, I still had many, much more time left to live, including up until now and going into the future. Uh, but Saturday's flight was a red eye, so it was already late. And everybody wanted to go to sleep and it was rainy and super turbulent. So um, it wasn't a puddle jumper, it was a slightly bigger plane, but it was definitely a rocky experience. And Logan does not like flying. And so she doesn't like it, she's trying to get to sleep, and it's turbulent. Um, so she was like, I, I'm sure I have like claw marks in my arm from where she was holding on nervous the entire time. That was a bummer. Uh, but we made it back safely, got to spend our day yesterday with the girls, and that was our full week. And I'm exhausted just telling you that story because man, we crammed in so much um, over the course of a week. Uh, we we did and we did and we did and I'd do it again. It was so much fun. I appreciate again, I know I said this at the beginning, so appreciate all of you level two peeps for stepping up 
and for stepping in to the Discord server and doing all that you could during that time to continue keeping that alive. I did not at, at one moment feel any pressure um, to sustain anything. I trusted you you all and I am so thankful that I, the, you, you were worthy of my trust because you did not let me down. Plenty of stuff went on and kept going and uh, it looked like y'all still had a great time and lots of good conversations. So it was really nice. I didn't do anything for a week. I mean, with the exception of those two days where I did present a workshop. So, I mean, I guess that was tiring, but uh, really it was mostly just time that I got to spend with Logan and we just got to enjoy just life. <laughs> we just got to enjoy life. We got to enjoy some beautiful sights. We got to sleep in. Not really, we woke up at 5.30 every day, but you get the idea. Um, we, we did at least go to sleep early because we didn't have to lay down the girls or anything like that. And so that was nice. And we got to see some, Logan got to see an old friend. I got to meet some new friends in them. And then, um, yeah, got to see so many people from Checkpoint. Um, I need to do a big, like, um, big post putting together all the people from Checkpoint that I did end up seeing. Um, of course, it was Stained and Wizen at the end of the day. But then David Petty, we also got to run into David and uh, Laura Whitman, as I mentioned earlier. So tons of fun stuff. Tons of fun stuff, a great time, a great experience. I am still a little sick. It's actually really hurting me to talk right now, which is not great. Hmm. Another Meow Wolf. I had an awful headache this morning, was able to sleep in until 11.30, it was glorious. I can't even imagine. If I got to sleep in until 11.30, I don't even think I'd feel like the same human being. I've not slept past Seven, seven thirty. I think seven thirty is the latest I've slept in probably like the past five years. I don't think I've woken up later than seven a.m. <clears throat> Not counting like a really weird day. Like obviously, we didn't get in until four o'clock in the morning on Sunday, and so I think we we came home around five thirty, and then crashed at like six and woke up at eight, maybe, maybe. That sounds right. We did put out two uh, nerdy sermons during that time. Nothing changed. Uh, 7 a.m. is sleeping. Exactly. 7 a.m. is sleeping in for me. That's the latest I've slept in in years. Wake up time is 5.30. We wake up at 5.30, um, and that's pretty much our every day. Unfortunately, even the weekends. If Logan lets me sleep in, like I said, I'll sleep in until 7 a.m., but for the most part, she needs my help with the girls. We need help uh, helping each other survive. <laughs> Exist. Um, we did post both our nerdy sermons. We I posted one on Dredge and one on Hell's Paradise. Um, Dredge was obviously a game that we played and finished here on stream. Hell's Paradise is an anime that's coming out this season. I recommend you watch both of them. They were both great. I'm not honestly sure what this Sunday's is going to be on yet. I, I kind of... like. I, I really... You guys, truly, I'm so proud of myself. I genuinely unplugged last week. I don't even know what I'm going to preach on this Sunday. Don't even know what we're going to put together a sermon on because I genuinely did not do anything. <laughs> and it's so nice. It's so nice. I never not do anything. Um, and so that was an absolute dream. Even normally whenever I go on, like I'll go on like a quick little weekend, get away to the beach. But it's like the whole time I'm thinking about what's the next thing checkpoint's going to do. What's the next thing I'm going to do in this and that. So it was really nice. Really, really nice just to unplug 150%. Just enjoy time, much needed time. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm done talking and uh, I think we're gonna take a little break, take our quick little five minute break, a little, or a three minute break a little early. And then whenever we come back, we're gonna play Pokemon for the rest of the stream until we beat it. I think we'll beat it today. I don't know how long the post game is. I guess we'll find out if the post game even starts. Honestly, I'm kind of fine. Just like getting to the Elite Four and then calling it, calling it a day. We'll see. We'll see if we want to keep going to Pokemon White or not. Um, how in how in depth the post game is. Sometimes it is more than others. Sometimes it just kind of ends at the Elite Four. Sometimes it keeps going. So we shall find out and uh, and see what Pokemon White is like. But we're gonna do that right now. So let's take a quick break. Stretch your legs. Sit down. Do whatever you gotta do. Get away for a second. Done. Grab a snack. Look away from the screen. Any of those sort of things. And we'll be back in three minutes. See you soon. Still, still waiting. 
Weesh tip. So there you go. The the the, the tips are auto loading. Be weesh tip. But for some reason the alerts are not cents. popping up. Pog 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 you. Why is it so awful? How do I follow the race? How do I follow the race? Oh no! What's happening? I can't follow the race. <laughs> oh whoa. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Mom, I'm the greatest gamer. Mother. Mother, did you hear? Did you hear that I'm the greatest gamer? It's true. I don't remember anything else about Squirtle. He's doing a T-pose, though. <laughs> I accidentally drew him in T-pose, dude. <laughs> All right, T-pose Squirtle. <laughs> well, Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. This is Squirtle, man. That's 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 a cursed Squirtle as well. We're just getting all the cursed things out of the way first, dude. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Christina! <laughs> Woo! We have a good time, don't we? Ooh, don't we have a good time? Brrr. Full screen, I'll do it. <laughs> we don't talk about checkpoint. No, no, no. What happens when you're gonna redeem a gotch bump from now on? Like Scoob, I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha bump. I'm a little scared. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear Shaggy? Did you hear my buddy? <laughs> By Nor Unahar. So that's pretty hype. Uh -oh, Good evening, uh -oh, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. Now I can't hear it again. This is your captain speaking. Why? Hello. Why is this come? thing on? Testing. Oh, one, I'll go to the other one. Two. I'll go to the other two, one. Two. Two. Every hundred dollars, you'll get to hear you, a page from my book that I wrote when I was ten years old. It's super cringe and embarrassing. Every five hundred dollars, we're gonna do a quiz you, that have been hurrah. sent to us. Your mask. Your mask and cough. 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 How do you say that? Cough. 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 Cophagrigus. What? Okay, your mask is fine. Your mask gets a C. This guy can't understand his name. F, destroy. Destroy him. Bad name. No, Monty! Monty! Monty's dead. Monty's gonna die. Monty, this isn't what I wanted, okay, buddy? Ah! He's a wolf. He's a wolf. He's a wolf. You're right. He's a wolf. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, I did actually forget to change our titles. I'm gonna change that real fast. Remind me at the next break, anybody who remembers uh, to pull up our video that we made for the conference. That would be a, a good a good thing for us to show. Probably about to be real loud. All right. Pokemon White. It's been a while. So if I recall correctly from the last time we played, I actually have got to do a little bit of grinding still. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. We're gonna turn it down just a little further. It's amazing how loud this game is. Yeah, we still have a little bit of grinding to do, but hopefully it won't take too long. I think I'm actually grinding on the gym leaders themselves. Make it a little easier. Whoopsie. Forgotten all the buttons. Forgotten all the buttons. Uh, let's see. 
I mean, Bryce Cream could definitely be a little stronger. I don't really remember what I need. Let's pull up a quick type chart. This is Marshall, who has four different fighting types. Which means I need to go on with fly flying, psychic, or fairy. Except I don't think that fairy exists in this game, if I recall correctly. We're gonna go with our flying boy, who I believe is actually in front, Adam Moses. Like I've been bit by something. Fairy came in Gen 6, yeah. That's what I thought. That's all good, Zando. We're gonna see if we can take him down. I mean, honestly, grinding grinding against the Elite Four is just as effective as grinding against Ares. Let's get after it, Marshall. Let's get after it, bruh. Still feels too loud. <laughs> Let me know if it's too loud, you guys. It's always hard for me to tell on this end of things. Yes, they got two levels on me. See if Fly is able to hack it. Yeesh. That's pretty rough. I wish I had Aerial Ace. But the show don't. Some Stone Edge. That would be pretty effective against you, wouldn't it? But as long as he keeps missing, ah, I'll take it, dude. Uh, surely. Surely. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Why would you do that to me, buddy? You didn't have to go and do that. Oh, you serious? Well, I'm glad we tested it. I don't do that every time. Is Aerial Slash really that much stronger than Fly? Nice. Nice, dude. Easy. Not too bad, Avamosis. Hopefully that doesn't one-hit you. And then it does. It's probably got another full restore. Wait, I forgot. So can I evolve him? Do I need like a Firestone? I kind of forgot about that. Once my bat got God, I don't have anything else to do. Hopefully it doesn't one hit me. Don't one hit me. I said don't. I'm begging here. I'm begging you. Stop it. Stop with the one hits. Stop with the one hit KOs. You don't gotta do it. You don't gotta do it. 
not necessary. Okay, so we're definitely going to lose. See if there's another trainer we can go up against for us. Psychic, Psychic, Flying, Psychic, Dark. So fight, Ground, Steel, Dark. Fight, Ground, Steel, Dark. We might have stand a chance to get Fight, Ground, Steel, Dark. Okay. Fight, Ground, Steel, Dark. Might as well keep battling. We're gonna lose anyway. So enough about me. How was everyone else's week or weeks? What did you do last week, folks? What'd you get into? What happened? What's new in your lives? I didn't even notice that this wolf has an adorable little meow wolf print on this on this took. to throw against it. Wow, good for you, Hertz. Not much. Our church had a rummage sale last week. It was pretty massive and a big deal at the church. Typically brings in over 100k easily. So that was pretty chaotic to live next to. All that does sound like a lot. My church does the same variety, or my dad's church does the same variety of things, but in, with um, more specifically with children's stuff. Had a great weekend, got Noel to play board games by the rules. Whoa, that is, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. What games? You don't mind me asking, because I would love to teach Nora. If I could find some games that Nora feels competent playing, then that would be delightful news. Yeah, Hertz. Hertz is bringing the heat, dude. Heck yes, Hertz. Are you kidding me? Hertz is absolutely killing it. Oh come on, I deserve that level up, dude. Positively deserve that level. Might as well, 52. That ain't looking good. Hurts! Hurts, I did not know you could do so much damage. Kids version of Monopoly, and then a game adaptation of it's a small one. Yeah, Nora will play some matching games. I had asked, um... I'd asked the uh, Beard Bros over at Love Thy Nerd to come up with a list of games for, for kids. Like, toddlers. I don't know if they did it. I missed it or not. Let's try it. Those two are winners. Good too. Ah, I was really hoping he could hold on. Bummer. I guess that's the problem is I just spent five thousand dollars. Let's see. I wonder if I could beat the other one. So which one is it? Grimsley. I might be able to beat Grimsley.
taught my oldest how to play Marvel Splendor and asked to play multiple times this weekend. It was a huge win. Oh, that would be a good one. That would be a good one for a slightly, you know, elementary age. Or even middle school age. Because they would care more, you know? Like, it would, it would be hard getting a, um... Getting even a middle schooler to care about regular Splendor. No. Wrong. Wrong! Oh. I just want to know how much money I have. That's really all I want to know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I can afford to lose so many more. I'm fine. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. No biggie. No biggie. All right, let's see if we can take down Grimsley. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful here that we can take down Grimsley. We're gonna we're gonna try our best. Sneaky snacky squirrel is a good one. I mean, I know like the the really the classic you know shoots and ladders s games. Man, oh man, what is going on today? Challengers coming one right after another. No matter what, I'm Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. 13, so the game is perfect for him. Now it's got me thinking about other games I can get to get him into more board games. Well, that's the thing, right? Is it really is just the interest. Because odds are most board games are going to be loved. You just got to get them, like, intrigued. So Marvel is, like, the perfect door to entry. I will say one of my one of my longtime favorites is always and will always be Wingspan. But again, how are you gonna get a 13 year old to care about birds? How are you gonna care? I like dice games a lot, so like Quicks and Farkle. No! Wingspan is so good. Why does everybody one shot me, dude? Why does everybody one shot me? Flying Psychic and Fairy. Quicks is a family favorite, it's a good one. Do you know any psychic moves, buddy? Do not. Yes, you do, in prison. Is that an actual move? It's not. <laughs> oh no, does anybody know any psychic moves? The one that's dead. Cool. All right, Hertz. You've been a you've been a fan favorite so far. Let's give you a shot. Ah, I was really hoping that stab damage would do it. We introduced Micro Macro Crime City to the boys last month. They got a kick out of that one. I don't know that one. That sounds fun. Ah, oh, come on, come on, Grimsley. What's up, Stain? Long time no see. I'm sure your ears were bur burning. Of course, we were talking about you earlier. You gotta stop with that sand attack. I wonder if accuracy resets when you change out or not. I honestly don't remember. I really wanted to paralyze him. No such luck. No such luck. Hi, hi, hi. I thought for sure we could take this guy down. I thought for sure we could take this guy down. I was so confident in myself. I was like, Grimsley will go down no problem, dude. Nope. Incorrect. Grimsley will, in fact, not go down no problem. It will be a problem. I'll take flinching. Let's try psychic. Only good things I hope. Absolutely. Just talked about how... What? What? What type is... What type is Scrafty? What are you talking about? Where's my mouse? Why is my mouse dead? 
What do you mean? Why is my mouse dead? I'm freaking out right now. All right, I gotta go get batteries. Crafty is dark fighting, and psychic doesn't affect dark? Did I know that? my mouse. It just keeps vanishing. All right. All right. Let's see if we can do it here, huh? Come on, Abba. Ah, I'm going to lose my mind. My mind is lost. Woo -woo. We were just saying this about you. Oh, why is my mouse dead? That's all you're saying about you. Saying. No, we are just talking about how you were at, uh, at the conference. That was pretty much it. Talked about our lunch on Tuesday with Laura Whitman and Megan Gale. I always try to think of the psychic weaknesses, things people are typically irrationally afraid of. The darks, the bugs, the ghosts. Interesting. Please don't miss. Oh! Why? Why? I'm doing my best here, folks. I'm doing my best. Chuck. Chuck, buddy. Buddy. Buddy, old pal. Please don't use a full restore. You were the conference. There you go. That's the confidence we need in this world. Okay. Who are you gonna send out next, buddy boy? Lifeherd, is that just a straight dark type? It is indeed. Which fighting should be strong against, yeah? Fighting and bug. We shall try. Friend pointed out the very weaknesses are similar to how Tinkerbell was trapped. She was poisoned and trapped in a steel cage. Huh. 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 How about that? Oh, Chuck. Come on, buddy. You gotta do better than that. Duh. What? You know Aerial Ace? Why, Lifer? They drive me crazy, folks. They drive me crazy. This song can get it, though. One hit. One hit from Boaz, dude? From Boaz, who we've not used the entire game? One hit? Hmm? Is that right? <laughs> Sand, ground type. Uh, let's see, let's see. Water, grass, ice. I have ice. I mean, what in the Toby Fox is this, dude? That 808, just getting it. <laughs> Oh, 
Just survive, Bryce Cream. Just survive. All you gotta do is survive. That's it. That's it, you got it. It's in the bag. Just don't die. Like that. Just don't do what you just did. Just don't do that and you'll be fine. Oh wait. You already did. You already did. BRB, time to get Helen from school. Bye, Zando. See you soon. See you soon. Why? Why does everyone die in one hit? Why does everyone die in one hit? They don't all have to die in one hit. They don't all have to die in one hit. One or two is fine. They don't all. They don't all have to die in one hit. They don't all have to die in one hit. That's all I'm saying. Don't. Don't. Just don't. Thank you. 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 Good job, buddy. Good job. You did it. You did the thing. What's Steel Strong against? Ice. Rock. Perfect. Perfect! All right, well, guess I'll die. Slowly but surely, we grind our way up. <laughs> we'll see if we end up beating Elite Four today or not. This game is insanely slow. I wonder, hmm. Can I be real with you guys for just a second? I would really like to try speeding the emulator up. I will have to play different music if that's the case. So what if we did that? <laughs> because that would make this go so much faster. There's got to be a way. Hang on, let me save state first. There's got to be a way. Probably under configuration. See, but this makes me scared. What if I mess up something? If I mess up something, I'll be real mad. Hmm. It's probably frame skip. Right now it's on limit and zero. So let's try something real fast. Let's take the sound settings. And can we just turn it off? And let's take the frame rate. Let's speed it up by two. Oh yeah, that's so much better. That's so much better. We can go even faster if we want to. Let's do a frame skip times three. Oh man, look at him go, dude! Look at him go so much faster. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna go back to this guy. Oh wow. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness, it's like a dream. We can go even faster. Let's go times four. Just explode to the computer. Oh, it's amazing! It's amazing! Oh, it's amazing! Look at how much faster it is. Ooh. Oh, we're here for it. The grind. Now the grind will go so much faster. Woo! Okay, sand attack is not not ideal. Not ideal, but not the end of the world. Gonna use full restore next. Ooh! Same. Actually, I can just have a pressure. Not ideal. Ooh. Ooh, yes! Oh, that's what we're talking about right there. All right, Crocodile this time. Do I have somebody more prepared for Crocodile? 
Water, grass, ice. If my boy can get in a, if, if he can get in a hit, dude, Bryce Cream can do it. It's all about if he can get in a hit. Ah, oh, I really thought he could do it. Guess I was wrong. Maybe it'll crit. Ah, oh, it would have been too good, right? Dragon Claw will get him. Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. All right. Mm. Let's go with Chuck. Might use a four store again. He might only have two, though. I'm going to count on him just having two. Nice. Easy. Lipard. Didn't Boaz one hit it? Uh-oh. Welcome back. What's up, Wit? How we doing? How was your week? Let's see, what's strong against steel? Fire, fighting, ground. Let's try Chuck. Ah, I forgot he had Aerial Ace. Why do they all have Aerial Ace, dude? <laughs> yeah, boy! Uh, it's been good. Did the Inteleon raid Friday and been shiny hunting it. No shiny so far. Rock on. I didn't even know there was a hunt. I'm assuming it ended on Sunday. I cannot even describe to you how unplugged I was. Like, I have not... I, I hardly played any video games. Real nice. All right, let's go ahead and heal up everybody. See who we're going to take on next. I, I could have sworn... Do I not have a Firestone, maybe? Is it a Dusk Stone? It's good to be unplugged. I think the raid is coming back this weekend if you want to do it. Oh, that's good to know. If it comes back this weekend, I'll definitely do it. I actually have a lot that I need to shiny hunt, but I just don't play much anymore. Unfortunately, whenever I'm done with the Pokemon game, I'm like done with it. I get so, I get so out of it. But you're right. It is good to be unplugged. It has been so restorative. Okay. Who should we go for next? Now we know we can take down Grimsley, so that's really good. Uh, let's see. Psychic, Psychic, Flying, Psychic. Fight, 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 fight. Ghost, Water, Ground, Fire. Let's try Chantal. What do I have that's strong against Ghost? Ghost or Dark? So nothing. Let's see. The Mightiest Mark Terror Raids have been keeping me in, but I haven't played a ton other than that. Yeah. That's definitely how I feel. Just, just unplugged. Okay, so hang on. So I need somebody with Ghost. Ronan, I'm worried, just doesn't have it yet. Let's try Hertz. Whoopsie. Try Hertz. At the very least, if we lose, we know we can start with Grimsley next time and just get that easy XP. We're in a good spot. Now that we know we can take down one of them continuously, we got this. So I do technically have a dark type move. That's what I figured. Okay. See what my stab damage does. Oh, stab is so much better. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Oh, why did it do so much less? <laughs> why did it do so much less that time? Oh, okay.
Why is it doing so much less now? It was doing so much at the beginning. Ooh. He's for sure. He's for sure going to use that full restore. For sure. Yeah. As I knew he would. Ah, man. Your ghost is stronger than my ghost, I guess. Yeah, that was a big hit. Well, I'm taking on people definitely above my pay grade. All right, let's see. I guess, I guess Boaz. Let's try Boaz. Probably my best bet here. As long as Chandelure doesn't have like a floating thing. Not flying type. Oof. That's a big oof. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely trying to take on the, uh, only has five of those, right? Pretty sure they only have five fire blasts. Just gotta hope for no crit. Or for no payback. You can't fool me, Chandelure. This is my first day playing Pocket Mans. You think this is my first day? Huh? You think this is my first day playing Pocket Mans? I know your tricks. I know you still got more, too. I'm gonna run down those power points, baby. Is that four or five? Woo! One HP, yo! <laughs> let's, 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 let's uh, hold him out, because I want to see if he's got one more. He might. I don't know, I started using Shadow Ball. He may or may not. Man, all his attacks hit heart. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I should have waited for him to do payback, I guess. Abamosis might have a dark type move. Might. Nope. It does have a ghost type. Heck yes, dude. You go, Abamosis. No. No, I want to forget it, yes. Forget? No, I said forget! Keep old moves. I see. Give up on it. Here we go. Uh, Jellison, is that a water type? Probably. Just keep battling. Could have fooled me. Try it. See what happens. Nothing. All right, let's do this then. Hurts, surely. Surely you are faster than Jellicent. Ah, oh, come on! Are you serious? No way. Oh, no! No! Are you serious? Why? Just because of the ghost? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man, this is a close one. I think we got it, but this is, this is, this is it, man. This is do or die right here. I think it was do. I think it was do and not die. What's wild charge? Shrouds itself in electricity and smashes into the target. It also damages the user a little bit. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, Hertz can take some damage, that's fine. 
Glass cannon anyway. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't know I had another one out there! Oh no! Uh, uh, I went strong against rock that's not fighting. Um, grass, ground, steel, I think. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. I, th I think Bryce Cream knows a steel move. Boaz knows a ground type move. Those are my best bets at this point. We might be losing. I really thought I was on the last one. Oh, come on. At least let me find out. At least let me find out how much damage it does. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. We at least know how to get it started. Okay. So let's take Abba Moses. Put Abba Moses back out front. Let's get back into it. We got this, baby. We got this. Grimsley's first. Keep on grinding that experience, baby! All right, Grimsley. All right, Grimsley, old pal, old boy. Let's see what we got going on. I'm counting on one of these level ups with Abba Moses. Thank you for the crit. I'm counting on one of these level ups to teach me Aerial Ace. It's, it's got to happen eventually, right? Curse. What? What does that even mean? Works differently than for all other types. Let's try it. I don't even know what that means. I thought curse. I thought curse was the thing where they like stab themselves and lose half their health. All right, crocodile. Which one took down crocodile last time? I think it might have been Bryce Cream. No, I think Bryce Cream actually died. But maybe Bryce Cream can do it this time. We can get another crit. Earthquake. Earthquake is so stinking tough. See, that's nothing. Yikes. Nice, dude. That's what I was hoping would happen. Boaz? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Boaz is my lifeword killer. So let's do it. Ah, oh, come on. Nice. By Sharp. Who is my By Sharp killer? don't remember. I think it was Throw, who is very low on health. So I'm going to pass it off to Hertz. So severely underleveled, you guys. I hope he doesn't. Ooh. Ooh, I hope he doesn't full restore. 
Nice. Nice, dude. Bye bye. Okay. On to the child. I just noticed the plushie Monokuma in the top left. Poggers love me some dang and rampa. I love dang and rampa. It's, my, it's like my favorite game of all time. It's up there, definitely. That's good to know. Good to know that you're a fan. Are you looking forward to um, the new detective game then? Kodaka's latest. I'm very excited. I think I think it's coming out on June 30th. It sounds right anyway. And I'll be playing every minute of it. I actually have a Monokuma onesie that I wear for a checkathon. So it'll be a, it'll be an unlockable for this checkathon this Friday. Okay, let's see. I think we start with Hertz. I think we start with Hertz. I can't believe we started this game with Tepig and just traded him out. <laughs> I feel so guilty. Let's try Wild Charge. Let's find out what happens. Uh, yeah. Let's find out. Oof. <laughs> oh, no. Don't like that one bit. Never mind. Um, hmm. Hey yo! Thank you for the sub and someone with Prime. Rock on! You can only use that in one place, and you use it here. Thank you. Appreciate ya. All right, Ronan. I literally just need you to be faster than this guy. Ah! Oh, come on! Are you joking? <laughs> no! Why on earth? That is such garbo! <sighs> Absolute nonsense. Yeah, of course! Of course she used full restore. Why wouldn't she? Ay, ay, ay. Well, so much for winning this one. Ooh, but I did just, I think I just coaxed out the other full restorer. That's kind of nice. Let's let Chuck take some damage and revive everybody. What a nightmare. That was so awful. That was cruel as it was. Who's this Pokemon? It's the one that I can't pronounce its name. All right. We're going to try we're going to we're going to try none of them. None of them are helpful. None of them are helpful against you. Cough egregious. Who did I use to take them down earlier? Cuz now I feel like no one is capable. Let's see if we can at least get that paralyze out. Because I'm pretty sure I coaxed them into using their last full restore. So now we have plenty of time to heal. What we don't have is many more potions. I need to go restock. Cute. Cute. Maybe just for some sand attacks. Buy me a little more time there. They're just bound to determine not to give me time.
Yeah, I'm very, very excited about the new Danganronpa adjacent Vigi game. Very much looking forward to it. I'm a diehard. I didn't know that you were, Aaron. We need to talk more about that. We definitely have a lot of crossover video game interests. Because I know you're a mega Pokemon fan. Let's try it. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything that affects you. My one pure ghost type is pitiful. The stab damage might as well be non-existent. All right, well. We use the sand attack method. Can't go wrong with sand attack. See if wild charge is enough. Pocket sand. <laughs> exactly. I'm amazed. Oh, it's disabled? Say what? I don't think any of the other moves work, right? Greetings. What's up, Audacity? How we doing? We are. We are. We are hopefully finishing Pokemon White if I can get my act together. Um... No, that was a terrible move. That was a terrible move. That was the worst move I could have made. But maybe I'm faster than you. Nope! <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. This Elite Four has absolutely eaten my lunch. Just again and again. Ay, oh, man! I mean, I can't, I can't win for losing against them, dude. All right. I mean, I understand that it's my fault for having an underleveled team and for not being willing to take the time to grind not against them. But I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. Uh, is this their last one? This might be their last one. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pocket sand again. If we can survive. Woo! Woo! They'll miss eventually. I can now take down Grimsley every round. I think without fail. I think. <laughs> it's so close. It's so close. If they get that crit on me, I'm done for. Is this a is this a historically strong Elite Four? That would explain why I'm having so much trouble if that's the case. I, I, is it really not gonna miss? I need you to miss, bud. I need you to miss. You gotta miss. You have you've been sand attacked twice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. When I played it last, I thought they were good. I have no idea. They might be a historically strong one. They might just as well not be. I have no clue. Could be all me. All right, we've done several now. Easy. <laughs> Probably could have done that a while ago, huh? Oh, go lurk. Pocket sand! We continue the sand attack method. This is really all I got. Oopsie. Oopsie. Let's see. You said it lists Unova as the second hardest, right? Minimize is like my least favorite move in Vigi game history. See if we can get that paralyzed in. Doesn't affect, really? I thought they could still be paralyzed. I have nothing that affects you then. Let's, um... Th 
There's really nobody. Nobody stands a chance. Nobody stands a chance against you. We can't even we can't even hope for speed because Golurk is so fast. That's alright. I gotta restock potions anyway. So fast. Can't believe it's faster than my Chandelure. I thought for sure I'd be faster, at least with that one. Hertz might be the only one that's faster. Alright, let's go restock. Let's go restock. We're taking down the Elite Four, doggone it. <laughs> I don't care what it takes. Alright, hyper potions galore. Go Lurk Shiny, it's a great Shiny. Alright, that, that burned through a good chunk of my money. Pretty good chunk. I don't think we're losing money anymore as long as we keep beating Grimsley. Which, I mean, theoretically at this point we've got Grimsley down as long as he doesn't unexpectedly crit. Just don't crit, Grimsley. Just don't crit. Who is the number one strongest, Kim? Cynthia? The Diamond Pearl? They have it as Sinnoh. Isn't that Diamond Pearl? I don't know my regions. I should know my regions better than I do, being as big of a Pokemaniac as I am, but I do not. Come on, homie. Oh, it hurts. It hurts deep inside. Why? I mean, that's cruel, isn't it? Isn't that cruel and unusual punishment? Diamond and Pearl. Got it. I feel like that's cruel. We'll at least start with that paralysis. And we'll go heal. I gotta get to the point where Abamosis is taking him down every round. If I can't get to the point where they where where uh, Abamosis is, is taking him down every round, then it's it's gonna be a long grind. Probably should have bought more Hyper Potions. Come on, don't give me that Garbo. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's some high class nonsense right there. Ah, oh, just, just, just do it. <laughs> Just do it! Just do it. Why? Losing my marbles. I'm losing them. They're gone. All right. There's both full restores. Both full. Are you joking me right now? <laughs> I'm absolutely going to lose it. This fight could not be going much worse. Dude, Scrafty, you're not even that strong, homie. You're just not even that strong. Clearly, we just gotta start using Chuck because he can't hit Chuck as hard. Of course, you flinched. And why wouldn't you? Of course, you are. And why wouldn't you be? 
And why wouldn't you be? Literally has never happened. Literally has never happened. And happened that round. Okay. Crocodile. Wonderful. We love Crocodile. Big fans. Big fans of Crocodile. All around. Oof. Um... I, it's really not okay that we're having trouble on Grimsley. I thought I had Grimsley down at this point. But I evidently do not. So much damage. Thank you. Thank you for the crit. Honestly, I really needed it. I really needed that crit. Um, hang on, who is... I always forget who's strong. It's you. Nice. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck and Grimsley. Chuck and Grimsley. Okay, we made our money back. I go heal him. Close enough to full health. All right. Who was the white, right person? I think it was Hertz. Let's just try Adam Moses. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember who's the best one to send out for her. All right. Another one. The question is, who's ever going to take down a psychic team? Bug, Ghost, Dark. I really don't have that. Let's just find. Let's just find out what happens. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. That's a super effective move, and look at how little damage it does. It's embarrassing. I'm ashamed of myself. Good for you, huh? Good for you. Three t three times lowered. Hmm. 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 Good. No. Good. No. Good for you. Good for you. Nice one, Ronin. Ooh. Ooh, they're sending out Golurk real early. Hmm. No time like the present, right? How is Golurk so fast? How is he so fast? He's the fastest Pokemon there's ever been, dude. There's never been a Pokemon as fast as Golurk. How? He's a giant hulking behemoth. How is he so fast? How many max revives do I have? Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Three, that's, okay, that's silly. I just want to know how he's so fast. <laughs> Golurk's speed is like ludicrous. They build up momentum. That, you know, honestly, I'm fine with that. Oh, is that what it is? It's the rocket boots. That must be the answer. It's actually the jet pack on his back.
Um, I mean, I guess, yeah. Oh, nope. All right, pocket sand method 2.0. Let's find out if it works again. Yikes! Are you kidding? Ooh. The game is riling me up. I don't honestly remember. Let's find out. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Chandelier, huh? Chandelier. I do not care for Chandelier. I do not. I think Boaz is the one that can stand up against Chandelier. But I also think it takes every single Hyper Potion that I have. That was the second Fire Blast, wasn't it? Was anybody counting? I think that was the second Fire Blast. So we still have three more. I'm pretty sure. Nope. Okay. That's fine. She's a very expensive fight. I could bear Golurk with the Iron Giant at times. It's a smaller version out of clay. I mean, I'll take that. That makes complete sense to me. That was four. What a mess. What a mess. Let's see it. Nope. That ain't it. Trying to trick me into a sense of false security. I know you got one more Fire Blast tucked in there. Mm-hmm. Can't fool me. I'm the gingerbread man. Not too shabby. Oh, now that's ooh. Whew. I was I was about to I was about I was about to be throwing some fighting work. Mm -hmm. Jealous it. Jealous it, jealous it, jealous it. Ooh. I need hurts. Mmm. Mmm, I don't like this. We're using it. Oh, this is so silly. This is so silly. We shouldn't use a we should not use a max revive. That's very silly. We're using a normal revive on Hertz. It'll be fine. 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 It's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Stop. Stop. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine, you guys. It's all good. All is well. We're definitely going to do it. It's fine. It's fine. Easy. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Will it for restore? What do you think? I can't risk it. I can't risk that. Oh, it hurts. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, and she didn't use Forest Restore. You can use it now. I win. <laughs> I win. I win. You lose. I'm the winner. You lose, sir. I said good day. <laughs> Two down. All right. Now we're making money. Now we made some green. <laughs> Okay. Heal up. Heal up, everybody. All right now we got uh, now we got some fighters. 
Next up, we got Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Who has the lowest? Probably Bryce Green. All right. All right. Let's look at Marshall's team again before I just run in there gun blazing. Marshall's team starts with Throw, Sock, Gonkledur, Minshaw. I think we got it. I think we got this. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe in us. Here we go. I believe. I believe. I believe. Good name. Have them when you paint. I believe. I believe. It'll bring a good thing to your heart. All right. Once we take down Marshall, we'll take another three-minute break. Um, assuming we take down Marshall, I guess I should have said. Uh, and then we'll come back and hopefully take down the last one. That's the game plan anyway. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts me physically deep down deep in my heart. First, first four store gone. Great start. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's going so well. It's going so well. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's going well. Calm down. You're fine. Chill. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're doing great. We're doing great. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Look, they deserve one. They deserve one dub, all right? They deserve one dub, okay? They deserve one. They deserve it. They've earned that one. No more. Not interested in risking it for the biscuit, you know? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Could have done a little more damage there. Could have afforded just a little bit more damage, but okay, 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 okay. Yeah! Yes! No more full restores, huh? Thought you had one more, but I guess I was wrong. Min Shao, I don't know much about you. Jump kick, you turn rock slide, retaliate with an inner focus, special attack. Ooh. Paralyze. Paralyze from the very first. Mm-hmm. Strong start. Strong start. It's fine. We're probably faster. We're probably faster. It'll do. It'll do. All right, we got a paralyzed Minshaw in there. We got options. We got option for days here. It's fine. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 We're doing it. We are winners. We are winners. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Now I got the psychic person that I have no idea how to fight. It's probably going to have to be Ronan and Abba Moses. Let's 
see their team. Let's see. Okay, they have uh, Ranunculus, Masharna, Sigilyph, and Gothitelle. Bug, Ghost, and Dark. So my best bet is to start with my boy Boaz. See if we can't X-Scissor some of their weaker ones right from the get-go. That's our best That's our best starting venture. The strongest start we can have. We shall see. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, she was in bed. Well, that's very sweet. This is really our best start we got, so I hope it works. Okay, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. How are they all so strong? Can we talk about that? How are they all so strong? All right. Next up is Sigilyph. Perfect. That's a wonderful next person to throw out there. Because now we can learn how hard this hits. It hits very hard. Oh, well, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Maybe Wild Charge was not a good move to actually give my mind. Uh, is he going to full restore again? Probably. Pretty likely. Pretty likely. Pretty likely. Uh, let's try Ab Moses. Guess it'll come down to whoever's faster, won't it? And it's me, baby. <laughs> uh oh. Camera turned off. We're gonna give the camera a three minute break. Uh, okay, Google set a three minute timer. Okay, Google set a three minute timer. Not the tell. Let's keep going. This is level 50. Good, we're faster. Ooh, four attacks, that's too many. Four is too many. Big yikes, big yikes. Let's try running. Let's try it. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, Ronan, I was really counting on you being faster. Man, dude. <laughs> Here we go, Chuck. <laughs> Old tried and true, buddy boy. Nope. Oh, man, to come this far, to come this far... Slow, slow, slow! How is everyone so slow? Duh! Man, that was like a that was just a grotesque defeat. I'm sure I'm slower. Gotta try it. Man! All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Oh boy, I'm running out of money, aren't I? Thirteen is all I can do. Oh no! That's fine. I haven't sold anything in the entire game, so let's go see what I can sell. Only one star piece, three stardusts. Four nugs.
It's a good start. I bet now I can afford some more revives. 11. Mm, how about I take... 8 of those. And the rest will do hyper potions. Camera back on. Okay. Camera should be coming back on. So we did lose. <laughs> we did lose. We're going to take a quick three minute break because we got to take a break. You got to rest your eyes. Got to get a snack. Got to take some time to yourself, folks. Healthy streaming practices. We'll be back in three minutes with some more uh, video games. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, taking down the Elite Four. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. All right. See you soon. Still, still waiting. Weesh tip. So there you go. The the the, the tips are auto loading. Be weesh tip. But for some reason, the alerts are not cents. popping up. Pog 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 you. Why is it so awful? How do I follow the race? How do I follow the race? Oh no! What's happening? I can't follow the race. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Mom, I'm the greatest gamer. Mother. Mother, did you hear? Did you hear that I'm the greatest gamer? It's true. I don't remember anything else about Squirtle. He's doing T-pose, though. <laughs> I accidentally drew him in T-pose, dude. <laughs> All right. T-pose, Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. This is Squirtle, man. That's 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 a cursed Squirtle as well. We're just getting all the cursed things out of the way first, dude. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Christine! <laughs> Woo! We have a good time, don't we? Oh, don't we have a good time? Brrr. Full screen, I'll do it. <laughs> we don't talk about checkpoint. No, no, no. What happens when you're going to redeem a gotcha pot from now on? Like Scoob, I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha pot. I'm a little scared. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear Shaggy? Did you hear my buddy? By Nor Unahar. So that's pretty hype. Uh -oh, Good evening, uh -oh, ladies uh -oh. and Now I can't gentlemen. hear it again. This is your captain speaking. Why? Hello? Why is this come? thing on? Testing. Well, one, I'll go to the other one. Two. I'll go to the other two, one. Two. Two. Every hundred dollars, you will get to hear a page from my book that I wrote when I was ten years old. It's super cringe and embarrassing. Every five hundred dollars, we're gonna do a quiz that have been sent to us. Your mask. Your mask and cough. 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 How do you say that? Cough. 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 Cofagrigus. What? Okay, your mask is fine. Your mask gets a C. This guy can't understand his name. F, destroy. Destroy him. Bad name. No, Monty! Monty! Monty's dead. Monty's gonna die. Monty, this isn't what I wanted, okay, buddy? Ah! All right, ladies and gents. Are we doing this? Are we winning? Are we winning? Is it happening? Who could say? But we're going to try. Actually, no. First thing we're going to do is we're going to save state. Because I have climbed some levels. We are absolutely going to be safe stating. Okay. Okay. Grimsley 
And maybe this time we start with throw. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Let's see what happens. Start with Grimsley. Start with throw. See what happens. How's everybody doing out there in the chat? Hope you're all well. Hope you're all feeling good, looking good, doing good. Let's see, is he gonna full restore? Hmm, interesting. We do just enough damage to not trigger the full restore. Now that is some fun information to have in my back pocket. Uh, Lipard, please Boaz, do not fall in love with Lipard this time, okay? Don't fall in love. Don't fall in love for the night and wake up in the morning. One hit. Ba bow <laughs> Yes! Oh, I love it when it works, dude. Crocodile is still the anomaly. Crocodile remains to be the anomaly, but I think I think Chuck has got it. I think Chuck has got it. Long as he doesn't get that crit. If he doesn't get a crit off on the earthquake, I think we're okay. That's really where we run into issues. Think we got it? Nice. Who's next? Bye, Shark. I need him. Hmm. Hopefully we'll survive. Do you play Pokemon Go? I do, Marin. If you've not joined our um if you've not joined our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat to get you the link there, uh, you should join it. Go under a section called Let's Be Friends. It'll open up a role channel that you'll be able to select which games you play. If you select Pokemon Go from the list of games you play then you can see all of the friend codes of everybody at Checkpoint that plays Pokemon Go. And mine is there. PSA. That is one of the many benefits of our awesome, incredible, wonderful Discord is that we do have a whole section of it devoted to friend codes and syncing up. It is the place to be. I should have bought some super potions, huh? Hmm. Be all fine. We'll be 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 fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got it. Okay. I think I start with Hertz, right? I'm a little scared that I'm wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Please don't be wrong. Please don't be wrong. Oh, that's right. We don't know who to start with because this guy's so strong. It's fine. Cool. It's been a while for me playing anything, but good to know for the future. Yes. Well, if you play Pokemon Go, feel free to add us there. I, uh, I walk pretty much every day. Sometimes I'll walk in the park, but um, if it's really, really hot or vice versa, if it's really, really not... Um, I have a treadmill that I'll walk inside. So I'm always out walking. I can't remember if anything works on you. I just need something to finish you. Can you hatch eggs in Pokemon Go on a treadmill? You can. Fun fact. The more you know.
Oof. Man, I really didn't. I really need you to miss. I really need you to miss is the thing. You're supposed to be missing. What if it restored the accuracy as well? Come on, crit, 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 crit. No. Why? Why? Why couldn't you just crit? Are you serious? So I guess I need to lead with Ronan if we have to do that again. It's worth a shot. How? Go Lurk, how are you so fast, dude? Always go lurk. Go lurk is always the problem. Every time. I need to stop even playing with him. He's just too strong. He's unearthly strong. I mean, Chandelure ain't easy either, but go lurk, dude. Go lurk's another level. Bro, chill with the earthquakes, huh? Chill with the earthquakes. Please and thank you. You know, for somebody that almost has the lowest accuracy that you can have, you sure don't seem to be missing. You sure don't seem to be missing any. When are you gonna start missing my missing my friend? I keep throwing pocket sand and it doesn't seem to be doing a thing. Hot dang, man. I mean, bro. It might be to the point that it can't go no lower. Yo! Homie! Chill, dude! It won't go any lower and you cannot miss! You are incapable of missing. I just tried to catch you. I just tried to catch you because I want something that can't miss like you. Does Shadow Punch never miss? Shadow, Shadow Punch have 125% accuracy? What the ham fat, dude? Yikes! Whew! We are fired up. Forgot about Jellicent. Um... Why do I keep going to Pokeballs? No. I 
I'm worried you have Chandelure still. I thought this was your last one, but I'm kind of worried now. So scared, in fact, that I'm not interested in playing games. Just crit. <laughs> just, just do it. Just crit. It's not that hard. Just crit. Yeah. That is what I thought. I am really afraid, you guys, that we're not going to be at the Elite Four today, and I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I cannot believe. I cannot believe we've now ground against the Elite Four for almost two hours and ten minutes. That's absolutely ludicrous. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. I just can't believe we've done this for this long. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Can you imagine if we were doing a Nuzlocke? <laughs> I would have just drained my entire Pokemon bank with all of these. All right, Marshall. Let's make sure I do it, sure enough. Yeah. Okay. Abba Moses, let's see it, buddy. Imagine if we weren't playing at four times the speed. Four times speed! This game's mad slow. <laughs> okay. Um, no sense in wasting a revive. That's really rough. That was a rough one. Not an expected hit. Nice. All right, Minshaw's the only one left. Hope for the best here. It's fine. Use all the four restores you want. As long as I don't miss. As long as I don't miss, it don't matter. Bye bye. Okay. Here we are again. Here we are again. At the psychic one. The psychic one that I stand no chance again with any of my mind. 
None of them are strong enough for her. But here we are again. All right, let me review the team one more time before we get started. Started out with Reunculus, Masharna, Sigilyph, Gothitelle. That's right, it was Gothitelle that just slaughtered everyone. So we actually started pretty strong. Um, I think we started with Boaz, if I recall correctly. Started with Boaz. And that was a pretty strong start. Here goes literally everything. Will this be the one? See you at... Thanks for the lurk. All right. All right. Bring it on, Caitlin. I'm terrified of you. Absolutely terrified. You gonna full restore? Me too. Is that your first full restore? No, oh, I was really hoping for a crit. It's hoping. I wasn't anticipating the second full restore. I kind of forgot. It's fine. Easy. Easy. All right, Masharna. Try Boaz again? Ronan? Buddy, you want to try this one? Let's see if you got it, huh? Pretty good, Ronan. Not your best, Ronan. <laughs> Can you do it? You go, buddy. You go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, Ronan. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but we are absolutely going to switch away from you because you're terrible. All right, Hertz. 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 Listen. Listen, friend. I know. Wrong. Incorrect. We did the wrong move. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. We did a bad. Um, oh boy. Chuck. Chuck, we did the wrong thing, buddy. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know. We're doing it. We're using one of our precious, precious, precious Max Revives. Just because I need the time. Hurts, buddy. Thunder wave. Okay. Thank you. Lurking and working for the best hour or two. How's it going? Oh, we're just being pummeled by the Elite Four repeatedly. That's pretty much it for us. How's it going for you, Barry? That's pretty much that's pretty much our adventure so far. We're pretty much just getting wrecked by Gothitelle um, on repeat. Uh, it is because the game is at uh, X4 speed. <laughs> 
It's because it's a deck for X4 because I simply couldn't do it any longer. Because I had to speed this stinking game up. It's so slow. Pokemon before, like, I don't think people realize. People do not appreciate. Hey, we just took down the Elite Four. Hey, we just did it. Hey, look at us. Hey, look at us. We just did the thing. We just did. That was it. You got me distracted, Perry. And we did it. We did. We did the thing. We took the Elite Four down. All we got to do now is, what's his name? Adler. No, we still got to take down an Adler. Somehow you managed to defeat the entire Elite Four. Somehow! Check the statue for the plaza the way the champion's room. Yeah, somehow is absolutely right, dude. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to revive and heal everybody. Then we're going to go try and take down Adler. Anyway, um... So the thing that people don't realize, in my humble opinion, is people complain about the new Pokemon games and they're like, oh, the trees don't look as good as other games. And they're not paying attention to what the new Pokemons actually have done. And they have streamlined the Pokemon process. I know that Bleach, I know that Bleach has his hot takes on, um, has his hot takes on the forever long tutorials and whatever. And I, he's not wrong. They are very long tutorial, but people do not appreciate how much Pokemon took the Pokemon experience and sped it up. Uh, the games are so much faster than they used to be. And case in point is this game that is so unbearably slow. It is just, the battles take 10 times longer than they ought to. Well, what's his name? Is his name not Adler? Is it Alder? Can I see your team, buddy? Okay, you have Excelgor, Drudagon, Escavalier, Buffalant, Vanillux, and Volcarona. Uh, oh boy. I'm sorry, that can't be right. Is something about to happen in the game? Because that simply cannot be true. I think, I think, I think we're about to go to post-game content, um, because there's simply no way that what I'm reading right now is true. Um, let's see what's about to happen. We can even, in all honesty, let's, we can turn it on normal speed again. Let's turn it on normal speed and let's, uh, get the sound back. Okay, bye, Spoofy. Bye, Spoofy. Um, okay. They did streamline battle stuff. Yeah, I do wish they hadn't sacrificed the animations of the process, though. They're so much worse now. I don't know if it's a sacrifice so much as it is a... Um, That's more of a thing that, like, they're they're choosing not to go as hard as they could, but there's no reason that the animations can't be better than they are. It has nothing to do with the streamlining the process. In my opinion. So, uh, according to this, uh, Alder's team is level 75. So, that's simply not true. <laughs> it's, it's simply impossible. There's no way I just fought the Elite Four with the maximum level of 50. Yes, okay, see, we're taking on N. Totally different story, we got this. It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend, Nathan. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokémon! I beg you, separating people from Pokémon, do anything but that! You and I both put our release on the line and fought with all our strength. And I won. Do not say another word. I've been waiting. In the future, I envisioned you obtained a stone, and indeed, you have. That dark stone, Reshiram, is responding to it. Stop. 
This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up! The castle of Team Plasma! Surround the Pokémon League! Oh, not an animation. Ah, oh, both screens! Whoa! Whoa! We're not finishing Pokemon White today. <laughs> I'd say we're not even close. <laughs> we're just starting the game. Come on! Ah, oh, this game. This game is forever long. It just keeps going. It just keeps going, and it's so slow. Glitching like nobody's business. What has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will do something. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger and our result will change the world. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. No, it was not, Jaren. Uh, I have to congratulate you. Mm -hmm. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Check! Tell him this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together we learned and became stronger. I... I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So, his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursued their dreams. Nathan, or check, check, excuse me. Your name's not Nathan, who are you? Check. Listen, even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please, let him know that. I actually would like to just heal. I actually would like to just heal though. What I actually want to do is just heal up. Is there gonna be like, do I, did I need to go backwards maybe? Can I go back down the steps? I mean, I guess I could. I don't know if they're going to let me out the special little fancy gate. Surely there's a center up here. There must be a Pokemon center up here, right? I will say this is very rad. Oh my goodness, it's the sages! We are all old men. Those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what will sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Oh no! A religious allegory! Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Getsis's perfect plan. Our Lord End will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Who just said that? Oh, well, can you manage that? Still standing, are you, chick? Your, your drift fails. No, <laughs> ain't it? Ain't just me. Aw, oh, that's rad! That's so cool! Aw, oh, the gang's all here! So sorry. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. No curse of gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma? That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come too. I think that was Berg's I don't remember. Bryson. I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Holder of the Darkstone, please proceed. That's pretty rad. That was a good moment. That was an anime moment right there. They just, they just went all anime with it. I'm here for it. But really though, if somebody could heal me, that would be great. <laughs> if somebody could heal me though, that'd be real nice. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have your Pokemon rest in this room when they're healed. It is our Lord End's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of this castle. Thank you. 
genuinely thank you. I'm Concordia. I give peace and comfort to Inn. Inn has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon, Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Gets his deliberate brought only these poor Pokemon close to Inn. Inn was touched by their plight and started pursuing the truth, thinking only of Pokemon. Inn's heart is pure and innocent, but there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. I am Anthea, trainer. Before you go to confront my lord Inn, please take a moment to rest. Thank you. Ah, good. Both you and your Pokemon regain energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. What was in the first room? Did I battle you? Our Lord N proved that he's stronger than the champion. Um, now many trainers will admire our Lord in and follow his orders. In other words, they'll do whatever Team Plasma says. Haha, <laughs> we Team Plasma were using the Pokemon we took from others all along. Oh, poor little Pokemon. They had to do what we told them. If I had to predict how this game is going to go from this point on, I predict that next... We've been secretly building this castle for several years by overworking Pokemon that we took away without being noticed by anyone. My guess is that N is gonna like go all superior and like wanna fight us, and then inevitably either we beat him, and then Getsis is like, you were weak on a log or whatever, and then like reveals the truth to him, and then we team up with N and we take him down. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know exactly, but my guess is that somehow N is gonna learn that Team Plasma are the bad guys. Everything's going to perfectly as Getsis of the Seven Sages calculated and planned. He's been thinking about how he can manipulate people's hearts as he wishes. Somehow he's gonna learn what Getsis really is. Whether that's before or after we beat him, I don't know. Okay. Is this the computer? Ah, uh, young wonder, are you surprised? This castle is the hub of Team Plasma's no gets us of the Seven Sages' scientific capability. A manifestation of knowledge. Haha! <laughs> now we can even infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all. Getsus is the one boomer that's good with technology. As part of his plan to take Pokemon away from their people, my lord and entrusted to be Pokemon to me have been spending time with him. I don't think I'm gonna let him go. I may not be cut out for team players. But... You guys, I'm worried. I kind of like Pokemon. They're kind of my friends. This Pokemon has become attached to me. But as far as I'm concerned, a Pokemon is just a simple tool. I don't understand. I don't need an item to catch Pokemon anymore. Thanks. I guess I'll just give it to you. Random stranger. Will you go to the Pokemon League? Yes. What? Oopsie. Okay. Go! I got a little scared there. Go! Why can't they just yell at me? Go! Do it then! Oh! Scared me. A battle between you and our Lord Inn will reveal whether our Lord Inn is a true hero. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world where people live with Pokemon. That's a cool story, bro. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord Inn. I don't feel anything even when I go into the room, but you might feel something. Oh, gross. Oh, Mori? The basketball looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia on it. Who's Harmonia? I found a rare candy. Shkoo. Shkoo. Toy box contains pieces of a train set. 
set of trains and tracks has been played with recently? Skateboard's resting on a pile of wheels. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. In's fine. In's fine. There's definitely nothing, there's definitely nothing wrong with him. So, if in is pretty obviously a reference to PETA's uh, frustration with Pokemons and their, their claim against Pokemon as a company, is this Game Freak's way of literally telling PETA that they weren't loved as a child? Oh my gosh, is that really it? Is that what they're telling them? Like, is because I mean, it's clear, right? That that's the allegory. <laughs> and they're straight up just like, your daddy didn't love you, dude? That's an insane burn by Game Freak. That is the spiciest comeback. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I thought the internet was a negative place, but Nintendo put it to a moment. Mm, welcome, holder of the Dark Stone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Unova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He's accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with a desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring into the being the world that I know that Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We, and only we, will use Pokémon, and we shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned, except for literally shouting it from the rooftops to everyone that will listen throughout this entire game. Go! Onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Okay. Hey, Anne. What's up, buddy? What I desire is a world for Pokémon and Pokémon alone. I will separate Pokémon from people, so Pokémon can regain their original power. You're wrong! It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs, even if it means my Pokémon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you're equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination! Oh, well, somebody just played Undertale. Wow, you ran really fast, huh? You came all this way. You haven't been yet recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokémon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win. Win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokémon are free of people. Reshiram, come to me! <coughs> Am I gonna catch Reshiram? Am I gonna catch his Pokemon? Oh, it's a pretty bird! Ooh! I'm on a trip on my favorite rocket ship. Going through the sky, little line signs. I'm aboard, we're ready to explore. Oh, it's over. Rad. The Dark Stone. Or no, this is me. <laughs> they are, there's so much. Uh, it's trembling inside the bag. <gasps> Your Dark Stone is, I mean, Sacrum is. Whoa! The sound just stops. The dark stone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful forest, which is now being released. Heartbeat right now? Zero chill. 
Boom! Oh! What? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, so extra. Heck yes, dude. Reshiram and Zekrom, they were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. Reshiram and Zekrom are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. Ah, I see. You really are a hero, too. I'll tell you what that Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you, to see if you are really pursuing ideals. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Zekrom and make it your ally! Okay. Let's go ahead and save state. Let's do it, dude! We'll catch Zekrom and that'll be the end of stream. Except I'm pretty sure I have a Master Ball, so... Just me and Crustle, dude. GG's? <laughs> GG's, I guess? Zekrom's data was added to the Pokedex. This Pokemon appears in Legends in its tail. It has a giant generator that creates electricity. Okay, well, Wit, I think you're out there. Do you want to name Zekrom? I kind of feel like Zero Chill makes sense. I'm kind of feeling Zero Chill. How do you feel about that, Wit? You like it? I like it too. And for any of you that are Master Ball purists, the reason why I'm not doing the, uh, the reason why I use my Master Ball is because this is an emulator. It's not like I can trade. So there's no, there's no real purpose in not doing the Master Ball. Zero chill. We did it! I mean, yeah. Okay, so who are we sending back? What is Zekrom? Is Zekrom... What is Zekrom? Electric Dragon? Okay, so I guess... Bye-bye, Hurts! I'll miss you, buddy. I see. Zekrom was said to lend its power to the hero who searches for ideals, has recognized your power, and now agrees to stand by your side. Trombone just went live? Well, we're absolutely gonna raid Trombone. Hold on, your Pokémon are hurt. No, they're not, because I used the Master Ball. There's no triumph to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. That's really funny. Now I will create the future I desire! I shall sweep you before me! All right, do we try to take down N and then end stream? Let's try. Let's try. Okay, so we started with Reshiram, but I don't know Reshiram's typing either. Fire. Oh, interesting. Okay! Oh wait, but he's also a dragon, right? Song is going so hard. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you they listen to Toby Fox. This is so Toby, I cannot even handle it. Do you really think you can stop us with that? 
Sure. Seems to be going pretty well. Gotta be real, it seems seems to be going alright. I feel like we're I feel like we're doing okay. I wasn't counting the flinch, that's for sure. Why do you have Hyper Beam? I don't have Hyper Beam. It's a pretty OP move for you to have. I guess we won. <laughs> I guess we did it. Vanillax. Do I have any? Up, 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 up. Against ice, fire, and follow fighting. Oh, easy. Chuck, Chuck, my boy, my Bob. Let's do it. We still got the rest of his team take down, but it should be easy. Surely the legendary was more difficult than anybody else he can throw at us. What if they were all just level 70s? <laughs> I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. With how many curveballs this game has thrown me. Ah, oh, come on, I thought we had it. Who went, dude? Who went to the school of Toby Fox? Nah, I don't even know. I never use it. That little, like, that was all Toby. There's a reason he's now composing for them. Ooh. Ah, oh, not Hyper Beam! I wasn't prepared for Hyper Beam. Uh, I was not emotionally prepared for Hyper Beam. how much we do. That's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Not great, but not bad. Somewhere in the middle. Ooh, is that a steal? Sure is. This should lower his speed, and we should, should be able to go first. You go, Boaz. Mm, Caracosta. Who? Oh. Water Rock? Fighting? Let's revive uh, throw. I mean, do you hear that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? What is that?
I'm so here for this entire soundtrack. Even the dying music was a bop. Not ads! Not ads! Wonder who he has left. We gotta be down to the last few. There can't be many. Zoroark. Is that ghost yet, or is it just dark? Can't remember. Oh, oh I got a back. Whoopsie doopsie. That's an unfortunate mistake. Why does he know Flamethrower? Why? Why would you know Flamethrower? Try Chuck, I don't Dude, he knows all the OP moves! Who is this Zorark? I'm a little stressed. Clearly also has zero chill. I guess Flame Burst, I don't know. Anymore. Homie! What are you talking about? Fighting bug and fairy. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Um, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> I'm just a little stressed. If bro would have one-shotted a legendary, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done emotionally. I don't know what I would have done. I, I mean, I would have had a panic attack on the spot, I suppose. I think we'll die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude just killed a legendary. MBD. MBD. Please tell me Zorark is his last one. It's really all I need to know. Thank you. 
please be the last one. That's all I ask. Out of usable Pokemon. Why? Alright, is Archeops a rock type? I feel like he might be. No! Last friend. My last friend. Okay, just in case, here's what we're gonna do. Just in case. I feel like he's a rock type. you'll probably be able to one-shot him. Unless I can get to you first. Oh no, Chuck's pretty beefy. Ah, man! Ah! You'll probably be able to one-shot my legendary, too. Because you're incredibly strong. You're just bafflingly strong. You're so much stronger than you have any right to be. I mean, who can compete against you? You one-shot Chuck. I don't stand a chance. Ay, ay, ay! I, I need you to do it, Zero Chill. I need you to. Why does he know Dragon Claw? Please. 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 One shot, baby, come on. Thank you, thank you, we did it. Everything's ruined, the truth I held, all my dreams. <laughs> all right, that is where we're gonna pick it up next week. Or, depending on how much time we have left in the game, maybe tomorrow. Never didn't have it. Definitely freaked out a little bit. I'm saving twice, just in case. Uh, that was... That was so stressful. That was so stressful! Oh my goodness! Pokemon White. What on earth? That was absolutely... A nightmare of everything. Everything was a nightmare. But we did it. We did it. Feels good, man. Holy moly, dude. I'm so stressed. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really the pastor of this Nerd Church Online. We are back in it to win it, doing all sorts of fun stuff this week. we got all sorts of stuff going on. Um, we have a huge event happening this Friday called our Checkathon. We'll be raising money for the Crossfire uh, Faith and Gaming Nerd Ministry Gaming Ministry Camp. They'll be doing in Denver, Colorado this year. Uh, we'll be sponsoring some kids, so we'll see how many kids can we sponsor on Friday night. Um, that should be a ton of fun. We do have stream tomorrow, one o'clock, our Variety Tuesday stream. Um, I'll probably, hopefully, announce either tomorrow or Thursday what will be our new streaming schedule coming up next week. We are going to be changing things up. Um, I just got to kind of figure out exactly what we're going to do. Um, but look forward to some exciting changes right around the corner, some exciting things happening. Um, Checkpoint is doing great, and we are continuing to envision a new future and move forward. And, um, yeah, it's been good times. Now I feel I feel like after a week of uh, vacation, I'm refreshed, I'm ready for something new, ready to get into it. We're going to go raid uh, one of our own, Trombone Dalek, uh, who is streaming right now, streaming uh, Coffee Talk. Episode two. I don't know how long I'll be able to chill because uh, I have not finished episode two yet. So I don't want too many spoilers, but we'll definitely raid. 
Folks, we are Checkpoint Church, as I mentioned. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church. None of those things changes these three things that we believe to be true. Number one, that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. And number three, that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, if you do me a favor, uh, whenever you go into Trombone Stream, if you would just spam some you matters in the chat, if you subscribe, you have that fancy animated one. If you do not subscribe and only follow, then you get the not animated one. If you would just pop those in that chat and let the community know they do indeed matter. With that, folks, see you tomorrow, 1 o'clock, or right now over on the Discord where we're active 24-7. Till next time, bye-bye!